Hello everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode. Today I'm going to be playing Europa Universals Yo Universalis Universals 4. So I'm gonna be playing single player. And I'm going to press the random nation mode. No guy. Hmm. Should I play as no guy? Let's see. I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna press it ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We are the we are Kara. I will play as Kara. Alright. I'm gonna play a campaign as Kara. And we are going to wreck all of these scrub nations around us. see here got pretty sizable army we could attack Hassa we could pretty much attack anybody around us except for the Ottomans and the Mameluks or the Timurids so let's go to our little thing here actually hold on 224 that's actually pretty good age 6 we have a six-year-old leader. GG, guys. GG. Uh, decisions achieve religious unity. Form alliance with Shivran. Shervan. Where is Shivan? Where are you, Shivan? I don't know where Shivan is. Uh, wait, is that it? Yeah. I don't know. I kind of want to conquer all these nations around me. So, save the Azer. By Jani people in Zanjan. Where's Zanjan? 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 Where's Zanjan? I don't know where Zanjan is. Uh, that seems like a good mission to take because we would get a claim on something. What is that? Zanjan. Our brothers in Zanjan are being cruelly persecuted. Where's Zanjan? I don't know where Zanjan is. Is it in here? I don't know. What? Can I search up a province? Is there a way to do that? Oh well. Uh, our mishmash of faiths weaken us to become strong against... Again, we must convert our people. Okay, I think I'm going to do that because we probably have provinces we can convert. Uh, let's see. They are Sunni. And we are Shia, I think. What religion are we? Yes, we are Shia. So let's go and convert them. They are Coptic. Coptic, Coptic, oh, we've got quite a few Coptic, and quite a few Sunni areas. Uh, I'm going to hire a general as well. 0301, could be better. And I'm going to sign him here, okay. Um... Provincial unrest in this one right here. We could be uh, converting it. And in this one, I think. And oh, got a lot of provincial unrest, so I think I'm going to. Um. Can't boost stability yet. I can't reduce war exhaustion because we have none. So, I think I'm going to let the game run. And I'm going to increase. Oh. So the Timurids hate us. The Mamluks hate us. Uh, Shamar doesn't really hate us. Hassa kind of hates us. Hejaz kind of hates us. Yemen kind of hates us. Uh, Oman kind of hates us. And Naj kind of hates us. Makura does not hate us that much. But they would not take an alliance. So, if I improve relations, they should take an alliance soon. 
That way, I can gang up on the Mamluks with them. Chevron. Um, I declined the mission, or I didn't take the mission to become an alliance with you, so I'm going to decline, because I kind of want to conquer you. Chevron. Chevron. God, I, I keep saying that wrong. Anyway, I think my first order of business is to take Hassa, and then... Oh, we have gained the trade dispute causes belly against the Timurids. They have threatened our trade. I don't think I can take the Timurids on. So I'm not gonna use that Kazu's belly. Belly belly. And then after I take um Hasa, I'm going to take Najd and then Shamar. So I'll have this giant little chunk here, and I'll just take all of this. Then hopefully I'll be strong enough to take the t Mamluks. Because I do have this ally down here. And I will have this ally. For alliance, yep. Just barely. They just barely accepted an alliance. And I don't, I don't even know how big their country is. That just might be all of their country right there. Uh, Royal mar 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 Marriage from Makura. And our guy's only six years old. Seven. So... I don't want to do a Royal Marriage yet because... He's too young. So... I only do Royal Marriages if they're like 60 and close to dying. So that way I can sever my ties once they die. My Khan. Timurids declare war on their new enemy, Kashmir. Kashmir? Kashmir? They cite tribal conquest of their causes belly. Okay. Well, we can see their army there. Not very threatening at the moment. Oh, we've got two armies. Hmm. That's nice. Um. I think I'm going to hire another leader for this army. 101, that's awful. It's time to show our strength. Four pretender regiments rise up in grain. Where's grain? Where's grain? Grain, grain, grain. Oh, there's grain. Uh, so let's put our army maintenance up to full before we do that and then we will put our guys on green just absolutely wreck whoever comes up all right should be enough Yes! Get wrecked. Get wrecked, dude. I wrecked him hard. Alright. Alright, Hasa, I think it is time to... Fabricate a claim on Hofuf. Yes, if I do that, I should get enough war score to take the entire... Country of Hasa. Press the Syrian rebels, let's try to negotiate. Mm. I really don't want to deal with more rebels, so I think I'm just going to try and negotiate. Um, anyway, we are fabricating a claim. Let's... Train some more units, maybe. I'm clicking on my province. Why are you not? There we go. Has announced Kara Koinu. Ottomans have announced this as our rival, or as their rival. Okay. I'm not sure how to rival people yet, but uh, they've already rivaled us, so it doesn't really matter. 
There we go. That should be enough for another army. I mean, we're only gonna need these two. Six pretender, shit. And most soul. Where's most soul? Most soul. Most soul. Mm, I don't know where most soul is. Oh, there it is. So let's move our guys onto most soul, and then we will click. It's time to show our strength, and then we will destroy the rebels. The rebel uprising. I think they are. I think Mosul is. No, they are Sunni. I thought they were Coptic. Okay. Time to show our strength. And we just destroyed them all. Good job, guys. Now, let's move you there. Execute the bailiff, lose 33 prestige, or lose 1 stability. Uh, I think we can take the prestige hit. Oh, we are in negative prestige now. That should be fine. I mean... I guess. <laughs> Let's move our armies to Gila. God damn it. To Breeze? Where's to Breeze? Oh. Well, I guess I can move these guys over there. Take them out. Eight pretender regiments. Dang. Send them away. Let them keep their faith. I think we should send them away. Get them piety. Uh, let's put them on... Where was that? Tabriz. Okay, let's go to Tabriz. Do I have the claim yet? Diplomacy... 95%? Okay. Well... Oh, we have gained conquest, Kazus Belly. Okay, I'm going to hire a leader again. One, two, one, one. Okay. Should be good enough to fight the eight pretender regiments. Oh, I think they're actually winning. Oh, no, we're winning, I think. Yeah, we won. Alright, let's uh, declare war on Hasa. Take Ofoof. Makura would not join, but that's fine. We don't need them because we can take the uh, Hasa by ourselves. We don't have any boats, but that's fine. Oman is blockading. Um, somebody. Oh, I don't know who C messaging me, but I'm just gonna ignore it for now. Let's move this army over to Elam, just in case we need it. Um, I think I'm just going to leave them there just to reduce the amount of attrition taken. So this way Najd is at a disadvantage because they've got this little island here and they can't come up here. Because usually if I play Najd I take this. I take Hatsa because you know I can get up to this province and it's very easy to move troops around, but Najd will be at dis a disadvantage because if they want this, they'll have to go to war with me, which is good because I want to go to war with Najd and take their land. I want to fully annex them. Revolt! Oh boy. Where? Oh, okay. Well, it's a good thing I sent my guys back. I'll send you there and I'll send them there. Uh, maybe I can boost stability. Um, boost. That shouldn't help with the rebels. Hopefully. My con, we have won the siege. Okay, let's pull out. And, or actually, you go and help with that siege. And, uh, everybody go and fight these guys.
the glorious, glorious battles. Let's fight them now. Uh, they are at 21%. Oh, I lost. What? How do I lose? And they are running all the way back to Baghdad. Okay. Well, I will let them get the morale boost and then send them back. Rebel Uprising, uh, 50%. Okay. Handle them. Harsh treatment. A harsh treatment. Because I really can't take any more Rebel Uprisings right now. Be pretty bad. Because I'm in a war. Oh, Oman is attacking Najd. Okay, that's why they're blockading. Merchant's worried about lack of protection. That is why it's called free trade. Uh, well, maybe there is something we can do. Gain one mercantilism, lose 25 diplomatic power. I think we're going to do that. Uh, we didn't send our traders out, so I think I'm going to send that one there and this one there. It's Basra and Persia. So I have a lot of trade power there, and my army now has almost full morale. I'll send them to the rebels. Makura, Makan, our diplomats have stopped trying to improve relations. Maintain our relationship, then. Okay. Uh, royal marriage from Makura. No, thank you. It doesn't hurt our relationship if we decline royal marriages. Which is a good thing. My contemporaries declare war on Ladakh. Okay. Man, the Timurids are just growing like crazy. I don't think I'm going to be able to take them on. And they really hate me too. <laughs> so, it's not very good. Let's send you to Basra. And the other guy for you, I'll send you to Brain. And I'll just keep that guy there. Icon, we've won that. Uh, peace offer from Hasa. They will give me 27 ducats. And they will become a vassal. Decline. Going for full annexation. They will accept. Good. Now I have a place to attack Najd. So let's send you there and I'll send you to Grain. Um, Alright, I think that I'm going to stop here. If you like this episode, please like, favorite, share, comment, subscribe. If you want more, do all that stuff. Thank you for watching and I will hopefully see you next time.